Like, I remember some time back in the day when I started athletics. I was 25 years old, and I remember most of the people were telling me I'm too old, and I'd never get faster. Somewhere in the back of my head, I always believed I could do it. I could make it. Like, I had that thing, like, I can do it. Why do I have to go by the majority vote? I mean, I'm different. I'm me, they are them. But for me, I feel young. So I was like, what? I'm going to give him the best shot. I'm going to do this for fun. If I make it, I make it. If I don't, I don't. And here, at 25, I started my career in athletics. And so far, things have just been going crazily, wildly awesome. I mean, I've been getting faster and faster, you know. I guess age is just a number after all. It's been three years now in it, and I'm still going stronger. And I'm gaining more and more experience and learning more every day. You know, most of the time when uh, we talk about athletics, most people don't understand the whole adrenaline in it. People talk about uh, minutes, seconds, uh, hardly, but hours, days. To us, sprinters, athletes, split seconds, they matter the most. I mean, we're talking thousands of a second, hundreds of a second. Give, take for, for, for instance, 2015 World Championships in China, Beijing, yeah, uh, if I'm right, yeah. So the only thing that separated gold medal and silver medal, which was between Usain Bolt and Justin Gatling, was one hundredth of a second. I mean. One hundredth of a second is, that's not even a wink of an eye. I can easily say when I came to this sport, at first I was really worried about how small I was and how big the other guys were. I thought that would make so much of a difference, but I realized that it's all about being fast. Yes, strength is needed, but I don't think I have to be buff. Maybe it's me, that's, the world is waiting for me. That's what I believe anyway. The world is waiting for me, like, I, I want to push this to as far as I can. You send both left a legacy. God willing, I want to produce the best of my best, more than just a legacy. That's what I want to do. I'm guessing that's every Atlas dream anyway. I haven't been loathed at giving up yet. But I should say, this accident that I just had in February really made me think twice. I almost quit. The worst thing that could ever happen to get involved in a car accident the day before the national indoor championships. I was like one of the favorite people to actually win that race and here yeah, I was pumped up looking forward to it. I was looking at massive PP as well. I was looking at just running as fast as I can. My friends in my training group, they tell, they say, I, I had to run scared, that's what I wanted to do, just to run scared, like run as fast as I can. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. It was one, one hell of a day, one hell of an evening. I didn't expect that, like, I mean, somehow I wish I just drove the car and left so that that person doesn't bump into me, you know. But I just sat there and I watched while the car was coming straight into me. I couldn't do anything about it. But I'm, I'm happy, I'm walking again, I'm back up, you know. Some people have had injuries which take them off for years and years. I'm still in pain, I'm just happy that I'm actually standing on my two feet. Hopefully I recover soon and I get back to the track, you know. Uh, it's, I remember back in 2014, if I'm not mistaken. That's the time I got interested in athletics and I joined uh, my club, John D. Farias. They taught me and I grew up the ladders very fast, better than everybody else, as in, maybe it wasn't better than everyone else, but for somebody who had been two years into athletics and already running into the same level as the top boys in the country, that was, 
that was something to me. That was something big. Today is one of those days I'm going to the Irish Universities Championships in Cork. Just to watch. I mean, ever since I've been injured, I haven't been myself, so this is me just trying to use it as a rehab. Get myself back into the field, you know, introduce myself back to the sport again. It is going to be a hard thing to do, seeing them people run and knowing that I'm supposed to be in there as well, like I'm supposed to be on that level running with them boys, you know, it's... it's... I so wished I was in Rio. I so wished I was running in Brazil, like... At some stage, I actually believed I was going to make it in a year. It would have been great if I made it. But um, now, there's World Championships in London in June, July. And um, I'm just thinking, my target is not the World Championships. If it happens, it happens. But so far, I'm not running, so it's not going to happen. But my main target, the, my next long-term goal is uh, getting up to the Olympics in Tokyo 2020. I want to be one of the guys that want to be there representing the country, you know. It's my home now and I will do anything for it, anything. I'm looking forward to just getting better and getting back to training and jogging through everything, you know. That's one of the best things ever. That's what I want right now.